Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I wanted to um, do my empties video on my bath and beauty products. I think the last the last one that I did um, was April, either the 15th or the 17th. So this is everything that I've used up for the rest of April and then until today, because I did check my shower to see if I had any empties. So this is what I have. Again, sitting outside because I have my pup out here with me, just really trying to get her um, used to being outside and fully potty trained and everything. So I've been on lots of walks today and she's doing great. She actually slept for a couple hours. Anyway, let's get into the empties. I promise I won't talk about my dog in every single video. <laughs> okay. So here is what I have for empties. Um, the first thing that I have is this Onyx Professional, um, it's a professional soak off gel and oil nail um, coatings, uh, nail polish remover. This was in coconut scent, enriched with vitamin E and grapeseed oil. I liked this. I don't even remember where I got this, if I got it online from Amazon. Um, or what but it totally takes off a regular nail polish perfectly and you're not using you know 400 cotton balls to get it off and then it's a little bit more difficult when I had my um, like acrylics on because I take a break and have them taken off um, I did it early this year but I keep them off for the summer just because I'm in the pool a lot and I get nervous that I could get like a nail um, like fungus from keeping them on when I'm in and out of the chlorine pool and the ocean a lot so I just take a break and then I'll have the nails put back on um, before school starts back up so yeah all right so I wonder if I move this if, that's, if it's gonna get really dark it is probably all right maybe I'll just have to stand up and go through okay no I'll just take a bunch of stuff and go over what I have for empties not organized per usual okay so um crest scope outlast value twin pack from walmart obviously you got two of these for a good price i don't care i'll buy this stuff at the dollar tree this happens to be like walmart or target i don't remember um working on the second bottle of it um i feel like i'm going through it even faster now um, because I'm like really compulsive with making sure that my son who's 13 is constantly rinsing and brushing even more so I mean he's a good brusher at 13 he still has no cavities but with the braces on and stuff I just get a little nervous that you know things are gonna happen to his teeth so it kind of stay on him so I feel like I'm going through more than usual I don't know this was a uh, soft soap and antibacterial value refill. You guys know what I tell you guys about my soap. I don't really buy Bath and Body Works. Um, it's soap. I get it at the Dollar Tree. I buy it at Walmart. You know, it's like 88 cents or something for soft soap and um, different brands, whatever. It's soap. Cleans everybody's hands. I'm happy. Um, my vitamins... What happened? I don't know what happened. I lost. Something happened there for a minute. My camera like disappeared. Sorry. Um, this is an up for probiotics, probiotic and prebiotic gummies for digestive and immune support. Um, I am a strong advocate for probiotics. Um, a lot of medication that I was on um, when I had breast cancer and stuff that I still need to be on, it like really messed up my body. So taking this stuff, my oncologist had recommended taking probiotics and stuff. So I just take them and they're easy. I prefer the gummies. Um, I'm not loyal to a brand. I buy what's ever on sale and has like a good flavor. I think this was like the strawberry mixed berry yeah um and then i also used this nature's bounty probiotic 10. these were good too these were on sale at like walmart i'm trying to think how many came in this one 60 capsules so those are good i have some new 
ones that I'm using now that are a, they taste like blue raspberry. Um, I used up a Equate, I think this is Equate, yep. 400 count of cotton, 100% pure cotton balls. Um, I use these to remove nail polish. I use it for wax. Uh oh, sorry, drinking her water. Um, I use it to clean up wax if I'm not hot dumping, um, all that. So I feel like I always have tons of cotton packs, empties. Um, from Mrs. Myers, I have the all purpose cleaner. This was in rosemary. This is one of my most favorite scents. I use this for the countertops. Um, for quick wipe, oh my gosh, quick wipe downs of the table, uh, the bathroom sinks, wherever. I usually have a couple of these going. I also use this um, in my classroom for my table. Um, so yeah, I like Mrs. Myers. Good stuff. I'm using a peppermint one again. Um, because that's what I have. From uh, OGX, I used up the soothing, smoothing, and coconut coffee scrub and body wash. I love this stuff. Um, it smells like coffee and coconut. It's really good. I also have the body lotion, which it always takes me forever to go through body lotion because I have like six different ones going at a time. And yeah, I just don't go through it as fast. Okay, what else do we have? I have a couple Lush products. It looks... So I have a Lush. This was the cream egg yellow bubble rune bubble bar from Lush. That was good. Made my bath smell good. Gave it nice lots of colors. And it felt good on my skin. This I am so surprised at. This is the Sleepy Shower Gel from Lush. Now granted, it's just a small one. It's 3.3 ounces. This was so good. So, so good. I loved this at night. Um, I'm very fussy about lavender. I know I'm fussy with it when it comes to wax, but I'm also fussy with it as um, like body care. That was so unbelievably good. And when I'm in the market to purchase more shower gel, I will get a bigger size of that from Lush. But right now, I don't need any more bath products. Um, I also used up a groovy kind of love bath bomb from Lush. That was great. This I cut um, in half, basically. I don't use the whole one. I just feel that it's wasteful. And I don't have a ton of Lush bath bombs, so um, yeah. This shower scrub from Lush, which is Magic Crystals. Oh my God. It says, scrub your, scrub your way to softness with Epsom salt and tingly fresh mint infusion. You guys, this stuff is unbelievable. When I tell you that it is so cooling, it's rinsed out. So you'll see a little like wet mess because this has to go in the recycle. Recycles. Um, I wish I had saved this for hot summer nights hot summer days here in Arizona because I put the stuff when I use this when I got out of the shower I felt cold like freezing cold so it definitely like cooled me down and I would definitely definitely get more of that that might be the only thing that I would like how I'm saying I'm not buying any more bath, bath products this might be a um something that I would go in for. This was 10.5 ounces. I want a bigger thing of that. That was so good. And I also did, um, I put some in like a Tupperware container and I brought some to somebody that I work with so that she could try it too. And she said the same thing, that it was fantastic. Oh, we have some more empty soaps. This was an Equate um, Citrus. Perfect, you know. Oh, that looks, I think I rinsed that. Um, yeah, compared to soft soap, 11.25 ounces. It's soap. Cleans everybody's hands. And this is a clean splash from soft soap. Again, it's soap. Um, it was good. From Nexus, I used up these, like, travel size. Um... They were the color Assure, long lasting vibrancy shampoo and then a conditioner and they were good i they weren't great but i mean they are like small like travel size so 
cleaned my hair, conditioned my hair. It wasn't anything great. It wasn't a standout. I wouldn't repurchase. Another thing of mouthwash from Equate. This was the antiseptic compared to Fresh Burst. Mouthwash, Spring Mint. I like that. I was about to say I like that scent. Oh, goodness. All right. Grabbing, grabbing, grabbing. I finished up a Love Beauty, Love Beauty and Planet um, with argan oil and lavender. This was a shampoo. Um, this was good. I'm not a huge fan of the Love Beauty and Planet. I feel like the conditioner doesn't, it doesn't leave my hair feeling like soft. Like I have a hard time brushing through it when I use it. So I would not repurchase that from Mamond, I think that's how you pronounce this. This I loved. This was a petal spa oil to foam in the rose um, fragrance. And when you poured, you know, you just need a little bit, pour it into your hand, and then once you put, put it onto your face, it does foam up, but it comes off, it come, it comes out like an oil. And this was good. Um, my skin felt, it didn't feel like it stripped it. Um, felt very hydrated, so that was good. Uh, from Degree, I used a Motion Sense Dry Spray Ultra Clear, clear for black and white so that, you know, if you're wearing black clothing, it's not going to stain the underarm area. That was good. Um, I tend to use more, like, natural products for deodorant, but this was, like, a sent to me in a, I don't, maybe it was a Target beauty bag. I don't remember, but it was good, and, um, you know, there's not a lot in there. <clears throat> so it was good for what it was from Bosha. I loved this stuff. This is the white charcoal mattifying makeup setting spray. And this was, so it's just one ounce. Yeah. I mean, this I bought, this was good. I liked this a lot. It was white. So just like shake it up and then spray it on. And it had a pretty good, um, pretty good mask. It's completely, completely gone. Um, it had like a slight like medicinal scent when spraying, but that quickly like dissipated. Like you can smell that on your, on your skin. Uh, this is from the Dollar Tree. This was a daily defense, uh, coconut oil and vitamin E deep, deep conditioner for his defense for $1. That was decent. Um, I picked that up again at the DT. All right, getting down to the nitty gritty. Oh, shocker, we have more. Another empty soap. Oh, this one looks gross. This one I have not rinsed. This was the Soft Soap Bright Citrus. That was good. Um, from It Cosmetics, I finished up my confidence in a cleanser. This was really, really good. Um, but see, here's my thing with cleansers. Do I need to spend a ton of money on them when I'm using other serums and stuff afterwards um cleanses like only on our skin for a little while so um i don't know it was good i really did enjoy it kept my skin clean hydrated not dirty so it was good this i liked this was from Murad. this was their um nutrient charged water gel which those water gels are like all the new hype um so this obviously was not a lot in here i mostly on warmer days here i use this in the morning um to go to work oh, excuse my finger i slammed it in something in the door i'm lucky that it didn't black and blue and fall off but so anyway so yeah so that stuff was decent i love murad products um okay from wonderberry this Wonderberry Wax Company, I used up Yoshi eggs, and this was a scrub. This was so delicious and so fragrant. Um, as you can see, it's a little waterlogged from being in my shower. This was so, so good. Oh, it was a whipped sugar scrub. Okay. This was really good. This I did buy, and I love that she does these sizes so that you can really, like, test something out and see if you like it. So it was 2.5 ounces. Really, really, really good. I also have this, um, the Yoshi eggs in wax form, and it's not as strong as this was. This was really like a nice, fruity, fun scent to use. 
Um, I have this from Exuvians. It's a performance peel AP, 25% professional level AHA, PHA blend, glycolic acid. Um, it was an easy two step deal here. So it had the, let me just show you the box. This came, I think, in like the best of Ulta, like beauty box or something. It was a Christmas present and it had just like a bunch of their like best sellers, I think, I think. Um, so it had the activator pad, which was here, and then the performance one. And I think like you rinsed this off and then put this on for a certain amount of time. I don't know, it was good. Did I notice a difference? No, not really. It says it's supposed to like improve clarity and brightness, brighten and even skin tones, refine pore size, but it says with regular use twice a week. That's the results that this peel has um, shown. And I think it's kind of an expensive product, so. I wouldn't get that. All right, anything else in my basket? No. Okay, then I have a bunch of, of um, perfume samples that I've been that I've had, and I was just like, you know what? Before you start using your regular everyday perfume, get get through these samples. So I just used these um, until they were gone. Every day before work, I picked a scent and used it, and that's what I did. Um, so one of the first ones was, I don't even know how to pronounce this, so I'm just going to show it. This was good. And I like the ones, the thing just fell out because I kept it in there. Willow. I like the ones that come in the spray. Um, I don't like the ones that you have to like remove the cap to put on and they're like kind of douse yourself in it. So this was decent. I'm not in the market to buy any perfume. Um, I'm down to one bottle of perfume that my husband got me for Christmas that I will wear every day until it's gone. And then I'll buy myself a new um, perfume. I used to have so many bottles of it and it's just silly um, for me. From Victor and Rolf, this was Flower Bomb. This was really nice. That's what that looks like. It was not like crazy strong. It was really pretty. Um, did I see the, the little thing, thing in my bobber? Nope, I didn't. It must have gotten to us. I just saved the packaging. So that was good. I did enjoy, I did enjoy that. I also used up a Dolce & Gabbana light blue. I used to wear this a couple of years ago. It was nice. Oops, dropped another one in there. Um, Chloe was another sample. This was good too. This, um, I actually had a full bottle of this several years ago that I got as a Christmas gift and I enjoyed it. It would never be something that I would pick out for myself, but it was good and I enjoyed it. Um, Daisy from Marc Jacobs, which I wear a Marc Jacobs perfume currently, and I really love it. Um, so this was good. Um, floral bouquet, blah, blah, blah. To me, this isn't like florally floral, so I did like that. And then the last perfume sample that I went through was Versace's Dylan Blue. Um, this was good. This had notes of... Black Current, uh, Forget Me Not, <laughs> Granny Smith Apple, um, yeah, so that was good. So, no complaints. I didn't really have any, like, major fails or things, but I'm not, I don't need to buy any, like, bath, bath products. Um, I'm set for a while and yeah, so that's, that's good. So that's everything that I have. I feel like I didn't have as much this time. I had no like makeup empties or anything like that. And as usual, I'll do my sheet masks separate at the end of the month. But, um, that is everything you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great rest of your weekend, your long weekend. Bye.